Welcome to the AthleteShine.com radio podcast. I'm your host, Stefan Lasheski, and I am joined by, well, now former defensive end Brandon Jackson from Texas Tech, who is at the NFL Combine right now. Um, how are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, I just want to thank you for taking a little time out of your day to do this. I know you're busy and all. Um, before the NFL Combine, what we're going to start talking about is I'm going to first talk about your Texas Tech career. Um, coming out of high school in Pennsylvania, you were a three-star recruit, and you could have gone pretty much looking at it right now, Colorado, uh, Louisville, Michigan State, really anywhere in Pittsburgh, anywhere closer to Pennsylvania, but instead you uh, chose probably the farthest place, Texas Tech. Why was that? Yeah, um, I was just raised that by my mom that whenever you're when you're growing up as a young man, if you want to get all you can and be a man, you have to get as far away from the norm as possible. She wanted me to go out there and be on my own. So when I was going through the recruiting process in high school, I narrowed my three choices down to uh, USC, Oregon, and Texas Tech. And then after some uh, thought, I ended up signing with Texas Tech. Yeah, and you registered your first year, um, and in 2013 you played in all 13 games. Um, describe the first time playing in front of uh, Jones AT&T Stadium, because those are some uh, those are some rowdy fans. Uh, how did that feel? Yeah, um, it was overwhelming. You know, I always heard rumors about how crazy the fans were and how loud it was. And going through my racial year, there was times where I was on the field and traveled with the team just to get um, – a, a taste of the environment and things like that. But the following year, once I was actually on the field and uh, trying to cope and think about the play and focus on your job while all those fans are screaming and screaming and uh, cheering, it's just it's an unbelievable feeling and uh, one that i never forget. Yeah, and in 2013, there was a turnover of coaching changes. Um, when Cliff Kings, Kingsbury came in, what – what were you kind of expecting from him, and what was he like as a coach? Um, when Coach Kingsbury came in, I just uh, I felt like we were going to have a, a player's coach, a guy who was more involved with players and uh, got to know each and every person, a guy who we would be able to go and talk to instead of having to talk only to our position coaches, and uh, that's exactly what he was. Uh, coach Kingsbury is one of, the, one of the best coaches that I've ever had a chance of being coached by, uh, we have a really good relationship. He's always had an open door policy, so we've had many uh, conversations, good and bad. And uh, I mean, the guy is a, a success, so there was ways you could pick his brain and things like that. But I mean, top notch guy, a guy that uh, I thank every day for the opportunity he helped create for me and put me in position to him now. Yeah, in those years, 2013, 2014, 2015, obviously your most productive years. Uh, would you say? That is one of the reasons why, because of his coaching staff and himself? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the thing that Coach Coach Kingsbury did that changed my entire, my entire career was uh, bringing in Coach Smith, uh, Mike Smith, a guy who was drafted in baseball, a guy who was drafted, uh, I believe, by the Baltimore Ravens in football and had a few years uh, playing professionally before turning over and start, starting to coach and uh, he bring that when he got to the Texas Tech staff. He bring that NFL mentality and that NFL mind state and the NFL teaching. And he just got me and along with a lot of guys in the teachers in the line room really prepared for um, the next level and possibility to play at the next level. And um, he treated it as if it was professional. And um, that's a head start I have on uh, other prospects. I would say. Yeah, and um, I was reading a quote somewhere, and I found Coach Kingsbury said this year, 2015, well, I mean last year, and he said that for you the lights really just came on in terms of your aggressiveness, you're playing hard every snap. He said that you look like a different guy from last year's tape. Uh, what were you working on this, well, I guess last off season for the 2015 season that changed your whole game? I was just working on uh, changing the impact of the game. I wanted to be a guy who forced the office to do something different because of disru how disruptive I was being. And uh, I, I got away from being – I got away from individual stats. I started uh, taking pride in making my teammates better and 
pride in uh, taking on double teams and allowing guys to run free, allowing linebackers to run free and things like that. I mean, um, on a pretty shaky defense, it turned out pretty well. I believe we had the lead in Big 12 tackler and the second beat lead in Big 12 tackler, both our linebackers, and another guy who was, you know, was probably top 10. So uh, that's just a testament to the commitment that myself and other guys on defensive line made to um, not be so selfish and uh, allow our playmakers to run and make plays. And as you look back at your Texas Tech career, what would you say your fa- your mo- your best moment at Texas Tech? Um, my best moment at Texas Tech would have been a senior senior night this year. Uh, senior night happened to fall the Saturday before my birthday. I'm sorry, the, fi- the Saturday following my birthday. And uh, my family was all out there for the game, and also they were there earlier the week for to celebrate my birthday with me. And um, it's just a great great way to and finally introduce my family who raised me to the family who has been taking care of me since I've been down at Tech. And uh, for them to be come on the field and experience the fans and uh, sit so close and come to meetings and to see how um, first-class Texas Tech was for themselves was just a, a blessing and a moment that I always remember. And who would you say would be – who would you say was the toughest player you went against? There's a, there's a guy who played left tackle for – for us, it was pretty good. His name was Raven Clark. But besides him, going against him every day in practice, there was a, a guy who plays left tackle for um, University of Louisiana. Is that what they call it? LSU, the Tigers. He's pretty good. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good player. And uh, what would you say your strengths and your weaknesses are? Um, my strengths would my strengths would definitely be my versatility. Um, I'm able to play five technique, nine technique. Six three, uh, all the way down to the shade and shade position, and uh, uh, my weakness would be uh, just a consistent murder and a consistent motor, and uh, just doing it and being disruptive every day. When you first received the combine invite this year, what was what was going through your mind? Um, I, I cried as soon, as soon as I read the email. It was it was a difficult it was a not difficult but a weird time. I'm sitting inside the uh, football facility and I'm. I'm going through and making highlights and trying to get together some plays for scouts to watch if they haven't uh, seen it. And uh, as I'm watching plays, I'm just talking to myself. And I'm saying, you know, I feel like I'm good enough to play against any of these players that's out here in the country. And there was times uh, after the season where I've caught net, the NFL PA Bowl and things like that, just trying to figure out if I was ever mentioned because I, I didn't get invited to those games. And I just always told myself that if I was amongst the best, that they would see that I'm one of the better players in the in the, uh, in the NCAA. And, as I'm sitting there watching watching my film, evaluating myself, self, self-evaluating, I started to get frustrated. And I turned off the film, and I was like, no, I'm going to come back to this later because it's kind of getting overwhelming. And as I uh, I got to leave, I grabbed my phone, and I looked. I had an email from the um, NFL scouting combine, and I didn't expect anything of it because I had called them about four or five times. They probably got tired of me calling, but I just kept calling and asking if I was mentioned, if I had a chance, and they were telling me I was on the bubble, and I had been mentioned, but I was just short of the votes I needed to get in. So when I seen that uh, email, I honestly thought that they were just going to tell me, you know, we invited such and such players from the juniors, and uh, you just didn't make the cut, work hard, blah, blah, blah. And as I read further, I realized that they were inviting me, and I seen the official invite, and I just cried. And it, it took me a while before I ever called anybody and shared the moment with anyone. And once I did, it was just a uh, joy ever since. Um, definitely a great moment there. And you're there right now, right? Uh, no, I get there tomorrow morning. Ah, gotcha. Um, before, you know, getting that combine invite, you obviously, or, or actually before going, you obviously been training and stuff. What have you been working on? Um, I've been working on everything, <laughs> you know, the usual, the, the four-yard dash, the bench press, the L drill, the three-cone, uh, bag drills, working on flipping your hips, staying low, uh, working on getting more explosive and just becoming a better, uh, tester as, as, uh, my, <laughs> my trainer, Nate Blazovich likes to say. You know, he just was told me, you know, you have to test well, test well and then show them you can play football. Test well, make them watch your film so they can see that you can play football well. And, um, have you, have you talked to any players that have been through this combine process and the draft process? Yes, absolutely. Talked to uh, one of my closest friends, a guy who came into 
the University of Texas Tech with me, uh, Jason Morrow, and I pick his brain and talk to him all the time and just talk to him about what I'm going through, what I'm struggling with, how he overcame that, talk to him about what it was like whenever he got up to the combine and how fast it went, was he nervous, things like that. And I also uh, confide in Kerry Hyder, another former player from Texas Tech who was invited to the combine a while back. And uh, I just talked to those guys and kind of try to get a feel for it before I get up there. Ultimately, what do you want to show the scouts at the combine this weekend? Um, I just honestly wanted to show the scouts that I'm I'm the best kept secret. I'm just a, a guy who's out here who, uh, because of statistics or because of the way our defense performed as a whole, uh, not a lot, a lot of people know about me. But I feel like I should be one who's mentioned, one that uh, one that has deserves recognition, and I just hope to prove that. Um, a talked about thing at the NFL Combine is, of course, the interview process. Have you, uh, have you, have anyone told you how you should approach that? Um, no, I, I haven't been exactly told how to approach it, but uh, my, at, during my time at Texas Tech, we had to go through and do mock interviews with uh, different jobs pertaining our major as seniors, and that, that took a whole, the entire summer, this past summer, and then Throughout the uh, season, Coach Kingsbury intimated more things for the seniors where we would have to go through interviews and process and learn how to speak and uh, learn what not to say and what to say and how to get around difficult questions. So I feel like I'm pretty prepared for anything they throw at me. Um, why, sh- a couple of- uh, why should an NFL team draft you? An NFL team should draft me because I'm just very versatile. I'm, I, you can put me anywhere, and I can be productive. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not going to complain. I come to work. I, I expect nothing to be headed to to me. And uh, whenever whoever gets me, gets a player who uh, will grind every day, and a guy who's selfless and just wants to win at all costs. Oh, man, I want to thank you again for taking a little time out of your day to do this interview. And definitely good luck this weekend. Thank you very much.